Hey, we give you the facts. It's not what you think. Popeye News Link. Young King. One yard. Bless. Good morning, Popeye. Grandma watch Popeye's every morning and every night. Popeye, them finos say you're firm as street. And the news where you carry are no counterfeit. So tell all who are fighter you, them can't defeat. And I got give your strength so your heart no weak. Mm-hmm. So I say God and greatness. Like, subscribe, and share to Popeye News Links if it's the truth you want to hear. So yeah. Greetings, greetings, viewers and subscribers. Miss Hyacinth Dennis, you're living in New York. You're celebrating your birthday today. Your children, Marcia, Wade, and Anisha. They're asking us to wish you a happy birthday today. They are telling us to tell you that they love and appreciate you dearly. And they are hoping that you will live to see many more healthy birthdays. Miss Dennis, enough respect. Also, Miss Marcia Burke, you are living in the Port Antonio area of Portland. You are celebrating your 93rd birthday today. Your son, Peter, and the rest of the family, they are asking us to wish you a Happy birthday today. Miss Burke, let's hope that today, the entire family, they are going to be ensuring that you have a wonderful birthday. And may you live to see a holy more. In today's journey, we are in the Negril Square. <laughs> we are on a plaza looking down. Sit back, relax and enjoy the view. In the news today, for a while now, there has been a need at the Toned Primary and Infant School in the parish of Westmoreland for some laptops. The principal and staff for the school. They lobbied the Past Student Association and without hesitation, the Past Student Association agreed. If you look on your screen, last month, six brand new HP laptops were donated by a representative of the Past Student Association to the school. The laptops were being housed in the principal's office. Last night, hoodlums went to the school. If you look on your screen, the hoodlums, they cut the grill and damaged the louvre blades. They then entered the principal's office where they stole the six brand new laptops and $8,500 in cash. The hoodlums, they then made good their escape. No. No. People have toned. Somebody knows who it was that thief the laptops. As a matter of fact, one or two of you might have already bought one or more of them. You see, when I was a child growing up and going to the Lucy Primary School, the residents of Malcolm Heights, they ensured that they protect the school. Toned residents, please me a big one. Do the right thing. If you don't know who to tell, send me a WhatsApp message to 876-458-9111. That's 876-458-9111. 9111 and don't worry about whether or not Papa Yago chat back. We don't play them games there over Yasso. Please pass on the information. And still in the parish of Westmoreland, persons heading into the town of Savannah Lamar yesterday morning, Tuesday, April 2, would have encountered a long line of traffic. This is because of a crime scene at the Sajikor Bank on Great George Street in Savannah Lamar. We are learning that the management of the bank, they closed and securely locked it up late Thursday afternoon, March 28th. Early yesterday morning, it was discovered that the bank was broken into. The upper glass panel of the main entrance door was shattered. Pieces of broken glass were seen everywhere. The police, they were called in and based on investigations, it was observed that the hoodlum or hoodlums, they gained entry through the broken glass panel and entered the lobby area. 
spots of blood were also seen indicating that the hoodlum or hoodlums were caught. The hoodlum or hoodlums. They then exited the bank through the same broken out section without stealing anything. <laughs> you heard that? Nothing was stolen. Why may I tell you? No. This Friday and Saturday, April 5 and 6, TT Tools located at George's Plain in the parish of Westmoreland, they'll be having a yard sale. Everything will be on sale. May I talk about TVs, bicycle, and any tool that you can think of. That's this Friday and Saturday at TT Tools at George's Plain in the parish of Westmoreland. Don't miss it. Over in the parish of St. James, a 66-year-old farmer, he has been arrested and charged by detectives at the Sissoka office for the offense of rape. His name is Delroy Thompson, but he's popularly known as Paul. Like I said, Paul is 66 years old and he's living at Summerhill in the Springmount area of St. James. The allegations are that last week, Monday, March 25, shortly after 12 midday, a young girl, she was on her way home from school. On reaching 66-year-old farmer Paul's gate, we are told that Paul, he was standing at the gate. It is alleged that farmer Paul, he stopped her and engaged her in a brief conversation. It is further alleged that Paul, he gave her some money and held her by her hands, pulled her into his house where he did you know what to her without her consent. He then allegedly told the young girl not to tell anyone, but on reaching home, the young girl she told an adult relative and a report was made to the police. As a result, the police commenced investigations. 66-year-old Paul, he was subsequently picked up by the police and he was officially charged. So, he'll be going to the courts shortly. Over in the parish of Westmoreland, a 38-year-old truck driver, he has also been charged for the offense of rape. His name is Derval Anthony Allen and he's living at Hartford District in the parish of Westmoreland. The allegations are that in January of this year, a young girl who is about 14 years old, she's related to Derval's wife and she was at their home. It is further alleged that the wife, she left and went on the road. Her teenage relative and her husband, Derval, they were at the house. It is further alleged that Derval, he went into the room where the young girl was sleeping, woke her up and forcefully did you know what to her without her consent. A report was made to the police who commenced investigations. Yesterday, Tuesday, April 2, Derval, he was picked up by the police and he was charged for the offense of rape. So, he'll be going to the courts shortly. In this next report, this one took place yesterday morning, Tuesday, April 2, about some minutes to 10 o'clock. It took place at Industry District in the Summerton area of St. James. Our information is that a team of police officers, they were on patrol after there were reports that hoodlums were firing shots in the area. We are told that the police, they saw a motorcycle with three guys on it. The bike was coming towards the police direction. On seeing the police, the two pillions jumped from the bike and ran into bushes while the rider, he suddenly turned around the bike and rode away making good his escape. The police, they came out of the vehicle and carried out a search and bingo. One Taurus 9mm pistol affixed with an Empty magazine was found along the roadway. St. James Police. Job well done. Over in Westmoreland. This one took place yesterday afternoon. 
Tuesday, April 2, about 12.30. It took place at Retreat District in the Little London Police Area in the parish of Westmoreland. Our information is that a team of police officers, they were on patrol in the area when they saw a guy in a yard walking towards a building. This guy, he had a green plastic bag in his hand. It is further alleged that when the guy saw the police, he began acting in what is described as a suspicious manner and walked very fast into the building. The police, they stopped the vehicle and they went into the premises. It is alleged that the guy, he was seen running from the back door of the said building. The police chased him and subsequently caught up with him. The police are saying that they brought back the guy to the building and a search was carried out and bingo. If you look on your screen, it is alleged that that green plastic bag was what the police saw him with earlier. That green plastic bag was found inside the house and it contained that Keltec submachine gun along with an empty magazine. As also a clear plastic bag which contained those 11.40 cartridges. As a result, the guy was arrested and charged. His name is Demario Williams. He'll be celebrating his 30th birthday next week, Friday, April 12th. He was charged and he'll be going to the courts shortly. Westmoreland Police. Job well done. In this next incident, this one took place last week, Sunday night, March 24, about 9.30. It took place at Boston Lane in the Queens Drive area of Montego Bay in the parish of St. James. The allegations are that a 53-year-old man, he's the caretaker for a property. He was inside the house when he saw a guy who lived next door entered the bedroom where he was staying through a side door. That guy's name is Jerome Campbell. He is 30 years old. It is alleged that the caretaker, he hid in a corner of the bedroom and watched as Jerome, who was allegedly armed with a gun, started searching up the room. While Jerome was searching, he saw the caretaker and he allegedly pointed the gun at him. The caretaker, he grabbed the machete and met one chap. Jerome, he ran out of the house making good his escape. A report was made to the police. We are told that acting on intelligence, the police, they went to the Cornwall Regional Hospital and there was Jerome with a serious wound to his right hand. He was treated. After Jerome was released from hospital, he was taken into police custody and he was charged by the police for one burglary two assault at kamala and three possession of a prohibited weapon so jerome he'll be going to the courts shortly in this next report a 14 year old kingston college student he was shot and wounded this is due to an incident that took place monday night april 1 about 11 30. it took place in the vicinity of elaine and Dexter Restaurant and Bar along the Helcha Beach in Portmore in the parish of St. Catherine. We are learning that the 14-year-old youngster and a businessman in his early 50s, they were sitting at the back of the restaurant and bar when a hoodlum armed with a gun was seen jumping over a wall to enter the business place. The businessman, who is a licensed firearm holder, he pulled his gun and challenged the hoodlum and a shootout ensued. The hoodlum, he made good his escape. It is suspected that the hoodlum, he was hit. When the smoke was clear, it was discovered that the 14-year-old youngster, he had received a gunshot wound to his left wrist. He was assisted to a nearby hospital where he was treated. We are told that the police were called and when they processed this crime scene, 12 9mm spent shells were recovered from the scene. The mayhem. Now, this next incident, it took place early this morning. 
Tuesday, April 3, about some minutes to 3 o'clock. It took place in front of the Speed Bar along the Lilliput Main Road in the parish of St. James. Our information is that a grey 2001 Toyota Carola motor car, it was traveling from Greenwood towards Barrettown direction when a man named Jordan Gill, he's popularly known as Book Guard, he walked across the road into the path of the Carola. As a result, Book Guard, he was hit by the car. Now, if you look on your screen, there is the Toyota Carola that hit Book Guard. He was thrown on the asphalted road and that was it for him. He received serious injuries all over his body and ended up dying on the spot. Sad indeed. The mayhem. The me so let me ask you something. <laughs> let me ask you something. Have you hit on the love button as yet? If you have not yet done so, remember to hit on it. Also, if you are over here watching our videos and you have not yet subscribed, hit on the subscribe button as also. Hit on the notification bell. Then click all. So that whenever we drop a new video, you will be one of the first to be notified. In the final story for today, this one took place early yesterday morning. Tuesday, April 2, about minutes after 3 o'clock. It took place at Whitehall in the Negril Police area in the parish of Westmoreland. Our information is that that guy on your screen, his name is Brandon Hall, but he was popularly known as Shay R. Dandan. He was born on June 7, 1999, 24 years old. So we are told that Shay. He was at an entertainment complex nearby. Then he left and went home. He went into his house. Shortly after he entered his house, a motorcycle rode up into the lane where she lived with two guys aboard. She, he then came back out of his house and walked down into the lane towards where the bike was. We are told that she, he spoke to the two guys on the bike for about 10 minutes but then gunshots were heard and the two guys they were seen riding away on the bike when persons went and made checks she he was found lying along the roadway in a pool of blood the police they were called and when they inspected she he had received gunshot wounds to his head and his right shoulder from all indication she he died on the spot we are told that when the police processed this crime scene two nine millimeter spent shells were recovered from the scene the mayhem continues blessed love everybody tell a friend for tell a friend for tell a friend about papa in news link and pnl blog tv like subscribe and share quick silver sin what a country this will be if we just unite Jamaica live in unity If we just unite What a country this will be if we just unite Jamaica live in unity hey. Crime it a mash up Jamaica Criminals them a mash up Jamaica Jamaicans mash up Jamaica Oh Jamaica me sweet Jamaica Crime it a mash up Jamaica Criminals them a mash up Jamaica Jamaicans mash up Jamaica Oh Jamaica me sweet Jamaica I could have sun shine a rain Jamaica No problem no pain Good boy them no go to a team But me want me country back Give me me country back To the street and the lane Everybody them start complain Bloodshed what a shame what a shame But me want me country back Give me me country back Cry me to mash up Jamaica Criminals them a mash up Jamaica Jamaicans mash up Jamaica Oh Jamaica me sweet Jamaica Cry me to mash up Jamaica Criminals them a mash up Jamaica Jamaicans mash up Jamaica Oh Jamaica me sweet Jamaica 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 the land of the sun Jamaica become now the land of the gun East and north and south when we turn Country and town man a play blood a run Murder, don't you 
Give me the other murder. Cut it up, tell 